What's up, YouTube? It's your girl. I go by Tati. And today I'm back with another YouTube video. Y'all, I'm really on my grind right now. I don't know what to call this shit. Like, I'm finna just start doing like my experiences at the jobs I was working at. Okay, so this experience is gonna be my first job. This is my first job, and I worked it at Jersey Mike's. Y'all, let me just tell you from the gate, out gate, y'all. Jersey Mike's is like the most racist job to work at. I feel like because most people, like I'm not racist, but most people that work at Jersey Mike's or eat at Jersey Mike's is white people. And I just feel like they feel if you're not white and you working there, like you don't supposed to be working there. Cause look y'all, like I think it was like my third day. Okay, when I first started there. Everything was cool. The manager, like the GM manager, the men over the whole place. He was kind of iffy. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know how to feel about him. I don't know was he racist or what. But let me just clear this. It was a lot of white people that worked there. No offense to nobody. I'm not being racist, but I'm just being honest. Like, it was a lot of white people working there with me. Like, the my manager, she was white. The co-workers was down there white. The people that was over the board was white. It was like a few black people, like, I had a best friend that I used to work there with. She was black, though. It was like only like three black people. Well, more than that, but majority of the people was white. So my first day, it was cool. She trained me. I did everything good, I feel like. But no, nah, the rapping, the rapping part was the like, rapping the subs. That was the most hardest part for me because I don't know, like it's a certain way you gotta like, Package the soul like you okay after you after the person that makes soul they pass it over to you you cut it in half then it, it depends on like if you got a if you got a mini you don't cut it if you got a half a size you cut it in two then you wrap it and if you got a giant you cut it in four I think wait yeah four you cut it in four and then you wrap it and it's the certain way you wrap it like damn I don't remember how you wrap it but. It's a certain way you wrap it, and then it's like it's all about the measurement. Like when you like pull the paper from down there where they have the own um, wrap rat. Okay, so it's like three parts. It's the person that at, at least had my jersey mic because we didn't have um sit-ins. So drunk right now, but let's just get this. We are gonna continue this story time, y'all. Don't mind me. This is just y'all seeing me real. This like this me. Like I'm not finna fake it and try to act like other people on YouTube or nothing like that. Like this me. Like it's like three people. Oh, uh, four people honestly. Cause it's the meat case right here. The person that's chopping up the meat and okay, it's the person that's chopping up the meat right here. Then the person that's like topping the meat. I mean the sub. Topping up the sub, and then it was the person that wrapped the sub. I usually was wrapping or doing cashier, but okay. So this was like my first week. So the first day was good. The second day was good. Then I think it was like the third day. I don't really remember like my first. I don't remember when this happened, but I just know that like it was this racist man. He came and he had like a Trump thing on, and this was my first day topping because I usually was wrapping. They usually had me wrapping or cashing out. Like doing people orders that pay and all that. They used to have me doing that. So they had me topping because I ain't did topping yet and they wanted to see how fast I could top and all that. So it was this racist man. And mind you, it's my first time topping. Like, it's my first time topping. I ain't never topped before unless I top my own soul. And I don't really, when I top my own soul, I put what the fuck I want to put on there. And I just put like, the shit that I want to put on there and like I don't do it in order that or the way that we are taught because like when I first started working at, working at they gave me gave me a computer and they told me like to watch the videos and train I guess and I paid attention to it kind of but I really didn't you know like when they first gave me that video I mean I got bad memory to be honest so when they gave me that um thing when they gave me that um video to watch I watched it like because you had to watch it with Jersey Mike training, you had to watch that shit to like actually pass the fucking test. Cause they give you like they give you like videos on everything in the like everything like you have to do. Because Jersey Mike's wasn't like just like a permanent I mean, Jersey Mike's didn't have you like just doing everything. Like sometimes 
whoever it depends on who the manager for that day then how you preparing then how you chopping up tomatoes chopping up um lettuce chopping up i mean not lettuce chopping up onions packing the meats um doing all that shit like really they had you doing all that cooking baking cookies doing the cookies all that so they had you doing all that so just somebody's like it wasn't nobody like nobody was like actually like assigned to this or that you had to do anything like anything a manager told you to do that what you had to do so they had me watching videos from like the tomatoes the lettuce on the onions how, how you supposed to do that how you supposed to top the fucking subs and all that they had me doing all that and i was paying attention to it because you had to because it was a test afterwards and you had to like get everything right i mean i don't really think you had to get everything right because i know i got some wrong because i wasn't really paying attention i was on my phone <laughs> they had me in like the they had me like in the back where like all the trash well not really all the trash you know like the back of the like thing was like when you i don't know how to explain it i have a video i think of what i'm talking about I have a video one day I was a high at work. I took an edible. I just had to take a fucking edible when I went, before I went to work, and it wasn't kicking in. So I thought the edible didn't work. And plus, I ain't even eat that much of the edible. I was getting my hair done. This girl was like, "Y'all, I'm just all over the place with this story time, but it just buried me." This, at least I got a video out. At least I'm getting a video out for y'all. Okay. So I took an edible while this girl was doing my hair. And I even took like a bit piece. I only took a little piece because she was like, here, just take a little piece because that shit going to get you fucked up. So I took a little piece while she was doing my hair. And like, I still wasn't feeling nothing. But then when I got my Uber ride home, like two, when I got my Uber ride back to the house to go home to get ready for work. Y'all, let me tell you, I, I used to walk to work too because my, it was like probably like 12 minutes from my house. And I feel I I always used to walk to oh my god I always used to walk to work because I don't know I just like to work walking to work I, like my people's could took me because it's no it's not really like for a walk it's like a good twenty minutes but for like a ride it's like a good five minutes. But I used to walk to work because I don't know. I used to like walk, and I don't like bothering people. I don't like people asking. I don't like asking people for shit. So, and it wasn't nothing against them. They, it wasn't that they was gonna take me or nothing. Cause like they're definitely like at night. If I get off at night, they'll definitely come get me. And if I need, if I didn't feel like walking, they'll definitely take me. But I just didn't feel like. I mean, at that time I was high, but I didn't know I was high. Because I think it was like at the beginning when I first started smoking and all that. But I didn't know that edible high and smoking high is like two different things. Trust me, that shit is two different things. Because edible high is like a body high. Um, Smoking high, I feel like that's just like a thinking high. Like, you high, but it's, it's a difference. Trust me, it's a difference. I can't really explain how it's a difference, but I know it's a difference because... I felt way different when I was when I smoked and go to work. I feel different, but when I was high with the edible high, like my body just like it was like I couldn't. I don't know what I don't know how to explain it, y'all. I think I got videos of how I was when I was walking to that. I had to find them. It's in my Snapchat history, like it's in my Snapchat memories. I mean. So I have to find it. And I don't know why I'm talking so damn fast, y'all. Just remember I'm drunk. So throughout this whole video, this video is going to be funny because I'm drunk. But, okay. So back to the, like, video. So, and then my you that day. That day, um, yeah, I was late as fuck to work. Okay, so I, was, I wasn't I was supposed to go to work that day. I was covering for somebody. And they were supposed to go in, like, at 5, I think. And get off at 9. I don't know what time it was going down. I don't remember what time it was going. I think, I think it was going like at five, and I got to work at on like seven or eight. No, it was seven. It was definitely seven because, like, the people that I was working with, they was texting me, mad at me because I said that because I was still getting my hair done. It was it took longer than what we thought it was gonna take. Well, it took longer than what I thought it was gonna take. So I told, I agreed to go to work for the girl that asked me to cover for her that day because my appointment was at 10. For one, let me tell you, y'all, this video really got all over the place, but I don't care. I'm still gonna post it. This is gonna be posted. But for one, my Uber 
it took us like 20 minutes to find a girl house because my uber kept taking wrong turns didn't know where the fuck he was going like uber need to do better with hiring people because they do not be knowing what the fuck they be doing they be they be i don't know then mind you mind you y'all this uber this uber person kind of pissed me off and had me scared as fuck because his pro it was a girl it was a lady profile but when i got in the car it was a man so i'm texting the girl and my friends because plus the girl she was my friend too so i text the girl and i was like hey i sent her my uber link i sent her my location and i sent her on um, the person who was supposed to pick me up and i sent her a picture of the man i don't think he know that's the picture of him and i don't care if he do know because nigga i don't care my safety is everything my safety is everything my safety coming before all that i don't give a fuck about none of that shit like i don't give a i don't give a damn yeah i don't care when it comes to my safety i'm gonna make sure i'm safe i don't care about none of that so i sent her and i was like yo i find this i find this weird because on the profile it's a lady but when i get in the car it's a man and i'm like she was like you should say something to him about it and i'm like okay i'm gonna say something so i talked to the uber man i was like hey y'all this is really supposed to be a story some experience about my job but let's do whatever it's gonna get back to it so i'm like hey um why was a lady on your profile and he was like oh that's my wife and i told him i told her i told him that what he was saying i told him everything he was saying so then we finally get to like where she live at and all that and he keep turning on the wrong road and i'm like and i'm on the phone with her at this time so i'm just like where you at come outside because we lost he said he don't know where you live at if he said he, he lost he don't know so she came outside and we finally did it and then i think i had a blow dry my hair or something so I had a blow dry my hair, then I had to, that was it. Then that's when she started on my hair and it kind of really took longer than what I thought. And I ordered food and all that cause it was taking too fucking long. We was, out there, we was just in there ch chatting and talking and all that, chilling, me and her cousin and her, we was in there talking and shit. And all that. I think I ordered me food and I don't know if they had wanted food, but I think I ordered me food. But I had offered them food because, like, I ain't like that. Like, if I order me something to eat and y'all want something, y'all want something, I'm going to be like, y'all want something, y'all want something. I'm a person, I'm that type of person that be like, y'all want something, y'all want something because y'all can get something. Because, like, I don't care how much money I got. Like, if y'all want something, then y'all can get it. Like, I don't care. I do good by people because I want people to do good by me. But anyway, to this job, um, back to this job experience. So, uh, so I had walked to work and that's when I kind of started feeling the highest because I kept coughing and I kept like feeling like I was about to fall out. So I finally got in, I finally got in the job and we started work. I started working, never first time because I was late and I was like, I don't give a fuck. Like I stayed double time, like I don't care, like I'm here now. I got, I'm, I stay double time. I put money on my, that, that be money in my pocket. So I don't care. I stay too close. I stay too close. So y'all, the whole time, like I'm there, I'm just so fucking high. Like, I didn't even know I was high. I was eating shit. I was laughing for no fucking reason. Like, shit, it was shit so simple. And I can tell that other people was high too. Because it was like, you know when you be high? I don't know if it's just me. But when I'm just, when I'm high, when I'm high, I can feel that everybody else high. Cause, or I just feel like that. Cause, I be looking at people and they just be acting so high, so I just be like, you're high too. We both high, we're probably heads. Like, we're probably heads. So anyways, back to my experience at working at um, Jersey Mike. So yeah, it was this racist man, and I was topping his sub. And when I was topping his sub, he was looking at this girl. I'ma call her... I'ma call her Lexi. I'ma call her Lexi. Okay, he was looking at Lexi the whole time while I'm talking to sub. And I think I, I'm nervous. I'm still nervous because this is my first time talking to, talking to somebody sub. And I'm shy. So I was talking to his sub. And I think he was telling me no mayo. And I was about to put mayo on it. And he was like, I said no. Yeah. He was like, I said no mayo. And I looked at him like, and Lexi was like, okay, you don't got to yell at her. My Lexi is white. So... He looking at her the whole time. So like, I don't know, I this is just me. I don't like when people yell at me. So like I finished talking to sub 
and I passed it to Lexi, and I walked away and I started crying. Y'all, I bust in tears because that was my first time actually being like racially like like that. Like that's my I knew that it was racist going on and people it was a lot of cameras out here and all that. But that was my first time like actually being in front of like a racist person, knowing that he don't like me because I'm black, like I don't know, like that shit just really hurt me. Like I just started bust out in tears. And a girl named Zarya, I'm, I don't care. I don't think she'll care if I put her name in here. But a girl named Zarya, she was like, oh, uh, Biden 2020. I think she was like Biden 2020 because I was crying and all that. And everybody just came up and checked with me. I felt so special. Like the whole, I love working at Jersey Mice. The only reason why I quit was because. I was failing in school. Well, I wasn't really failing in school. So I was just so tired of doing schoolwork. I mean, getting off and doing schoolwork. Like, I was on that schedule 24-7. Like, I was on that schedule a lot. And it was paying me good. It was no bad reason why I, why I quit. I just needed to focus on school. I felt like I was being overworked. But it was like, it wasn't like I was being overworked because I wanted to get money. I needed money. And I was just strictly on my money moves when I was down there. So I didn't feel like I was being overwhelmed, but I know I started slacking in school, y'all. And it, it was my senior year, so I had to. And plus, I had emotional depression problems that I was going through, so I just had to quit. But it was a good, it was a good crew. And actually, I I don't have no problem with nobody that was at the crew. It was no drama for real, and for real. I mean. <sighs> It was no drama at that room. Like, it was no drama. Like, I ain't really had to get into with nobody. I ain't never fuss with nobody there other than, like, customers. Not really customers. It was only just that little racist, that racist man that was there. But, like, the whole crew was good. I was cool with all of the whole crew and all that. It was just draining. I don't know. I quit because it was so fucking draining. And, y'all, my bad because I had my TV on the whole time. I just realized that my TV was on the whole time. But yeah, that was my experience working at um Jersey and Mike's y'all. I'm so sorry this story time did not turn out how y'all want me to do it because it went everywhere. It went from me being high, me getting my hair done, all that. But if you like this video, please like and comment and subscribe. And just know that we're back with more videos. Like I'm back on my shit now. Like I don't care.